Hello, this is the advanced OBS lesson for the IMP recording. You might be in a situation where you want to show yourself or another video at the same time. If you've been wondering why we have these two kind of screens we can adapt, that's what this is for. I generally hate showing myself on camera or recording it, um, but you know, I guess we can do that for you so you guys can learn something new. So you can set up a video capture. That's another one that's right here. And in that video capture, you can go ahead and say a new capture device and then pick what you have, whether you have like the camera that's made with the thing or, you know, maybe a web utility or something set up. So I'm going to cancel this because I already have that. Although it didn't necessarily think to cancel it. So I'll just delete that. There we go. Cool. And you can also make different scenes. So if I wanted to, I could switch to my lesson capture over there where apparently I froze looking kind of bored, or I can go back to that OBS capture. If you notice, that's what this scene transition is for too. They're fading back and forth. So we can hit plus or we can change the duration of this fade and switch between our different scenes. What we can do on these type of videos is we can click to make them bigger or smaller. We can also move them around. So if I wanted to do a tutorial video of maybe my premiere lesson, I can go to that, make this a little smaller in the corner or, you know, whichever corner you want. That's what a lot of uh, tutorials tend to do, right? OBS has many other features you can do and many of them are plugin dependent. So I've included this link in a study guide as well, but you can just search OBS plugins. It's the link right here. And you'll get a lot of other plugins you can install to change the features. This might be something that you have to work out with your IT department or get permission for, but there are some really good ones. For instance, the plugin I have so that I can use my webcam, I got from this area. There's also some green screen detection and sampling. There's auto subtitling, if that's something that would go to your class. There's gradient sources, different plugins for streaming. They have a face tracker as well. And there are pages and pages of plugins. The only thing is since this is open source, sometimes check the version it was made for. Also, there are some that tend to be more stable on a PC versus a Mac and vice versa. But I would do your research if there's something you want to do. I do a quick web search, see if it's available. There's probably a plugin for it already. This concludes the advanced session of OBS. I hope it was helpful.